Welcome back to another ARC video. Now sadly this one is PC only as console players cannot access the any game files needed to build this. So this video I'm going to show you how to build this awesome battleship that you can build on your own PvE server. Obviously you're not going to be able to build this on official at all. Now there is a mod that will make this a lot easier which we'll discuss in a minute and I'll also show you how to change the any file settings. So like I said before, you don't need this mod. However, it makes it a lot easier by allowing ceilings to act as foundations. So no more messing around with pillars and making a massive mess just to build further out and, you know, get support in foundation, etc. So you can find the any settings here and you'll need to go into your game user settings and search for platform. And then you'll find these two settings that you need to change. The platform multiplier lets you add more structures to a platform and the area bound multiplier lets you adjust the distance of how far you can build from the platform. It's normally set to one, but we set it to the number on the screen that you see now and it just lets you build so far away from the platform. It's great. So let's get into the build. All right, so we've moved our raft out to sea because obviously this is going to be a big build and we don't want to be going into the ground over there. What you're going to do is add a pillar like so right in the middle now raise it up just a tad it doesn't have to be too high or too low but this will affect how the foundations go down that looks about right i could be wrong have a look no that's ooh, no that needs to be lower right so just to gauge where we're at let's put this here that's about the same height so this will help now so if we take this down Obviously, we're going to remove that, don't worry. We just zoom out a minute. It's a bit a tad lower. Think about there. Yeah, that looks okay. Right, so, remove that. This, this is all a bit of a guessing game. You've got to just try and get it just right. And that is spot on. That's absolutely perfect. Right, so from here, foundations will snap. Now we can remove this. Remove this and remove this. Obviously, don't block up the uh, where you'll steer the boat. Otherwise, you'll have an issue. You won't be able to turn it on. You won't be able to, to interact with it. So you should only be able to place that many. They won't snap anymore. So it's nine in total. I don't know. I think there might be a way to get them to snap further, but obviously, I've not discovered that yet. But there we go. Eight foundations all snapped in. Lovely jubbly. So because we changed the any settings, we can build at great distances now from this platform without it saying you're too far from the platform. And I dare say we could probably reach that island over there. And obviously with the help of this mod, giving us foundation ceilings, we don't need to mess about with pillars and stuff anymore. So it just makes the whole process a lot easier. So let's go along eight now. And what we'll do this for is just to show you just how far we can actually go. All right, so that's eight. Look at that. I mean, that is that is long. I think you could probably keep going. I mean, I haven't tested it. I've upped the limit to a thousand, so it's probably going to go all the way to that island. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to build anything too ridiculous. So we've got eight at the front there. So we'll just finish that off like so. Go along, add in all our foundations. We're going to add another row of ceilings either side so that the width of the boat is five blocks. We want five blocks here. It's got to be an odd number because we want the front end to come in at a nice point. So we'll do this. Nice. Right, so at the back here, we're going to go back by five. Just fill in the gaps here. Oh, no, I've just placed one. Can I still access it? Oh, I can. Okay, I didn't mess that up too bad. I, normally, when you cover this, the uh, the steering wheel, it, it you can't interact with it, and it's just an absolute nightmare. That was a that was a happy accident. Ah, lovely. There we go. No, it still works fine. Excellent. Right, let's turn that off though. That is the size of the boat. Oh, big boy. That is a big boy. So now we're going to build walls all along the bottom here because we don't want to leave a massive gap underneath the boat that looks ugly. So we'll go along like so. Just do this all the way around the boat. And then 
after that, we're going to add some more ceilings just to cover the underneath so nothing can sneak in underneath on us. Now with the back end, don't put walls down yet because we are going to build it back at a little bit of an angle so it's not just flat and looks boring. We're going to we're going to give it some shape and character. So, oh, wrong way around. And we will be flipping the walls on the upper levels, but for now, just the outside will do. And like I said, once that's done, let's just add some ceilings just to cover it. Don't want any fish or any dinos to get any smart ideas about trying to hide in here. There we go. That's looking good. Awesome. Right, so now we're going to build the front of the ship and we're going to use metal triangle ceilings and we're going to build along like this at a nice angle until we get red where it says, uh, yeah, there we go, no foundation support. That's absolutely fine. But once we do that, just add a foundation there like so. And then keep going. And we're going to do the same here. Now that's going to clip through, so we'll get rid of that. Excellent. Right. So now, we'll add a foundation there. This should allow us to build here. Last one. Amazing. Cool. Right. So with that, obviously, as you can see, that will clip in. I do have clipping disabled, by the way, but it will clip in just like so. It won't be obstructed. This one will, though. That's completely obstructed. So the annoying thing is here, you got this gap, okay? So underneath the ship here... We're just going to block this off. Now, there's no way around that because you can't you can't extend this unless you got like mods like S plus and stuff, which as far as I'm aware, aren't available to Arc, uh, Arc Ascended yet. And yeah, so it's, this is how we do it. We'll just block it off underneath, but up top, it'll be absolutely fine. So what we're going to do again is add more walls. Place the wrong wall down there. Lovely, jubbly. Now at the back here, like I said, we're only going to go at a slight angle. We're not going to go too crazy. So we're going to add three metal triangle foundations, like so. And then we'll build along like that. Because we're not going too far out, they'll stay green. So we've got no issues there. And then we'll just add some walls. And then obviously underneath, just like we've been doing, add our flooring. We don't get any aquatic dinosaurs or fish living in our base underneath, making all sorts of no noise while we're uh, driving our boat. But underneath here, because we're not going to be constrained because we've got the foundations there, we should just be able to build all the way. Like so. Excellent. Excellent. All right, fantastic. And there we go. That's the shape of the ship. Looking good. So now what we need to do is go around the top layer with walls. And don't forget to put a doorway. So I will likely be put my doorway right next to the steering wheel. And I'll do it both ways like so. And then what we need to do is just add walls all the way along. But this time, inside out. There we go. That is the first layer done. Look at that. It's starting to take shape now. Okay, so we're going to block this part off now because we do not need to access it. Do that like so. And that essentially doesn't exist at the bottom, so we can ignore that. Now, you need to decide if you want to go two layers up or just stay at this level. So basically, you can go around and add another layer of walls this high, essentially, if you want to you know, build up and have it like a really big boat and have more layers, more levels, like have a bigger base. 
And then also at the back, you can add a gate for your dinosaurs and have like, uh, you know, a staples at the back of the boat. So this is all your preference. I'm not going to go too high because I, I don't I don't really see the point. I think one layer is is fine enough. So from there, we're just going to add metal ceilings again, just like we did before. And then we're going to add ceiling foundations again, just as we have before, all the way along the boat. Now, the reason I'm going one layer is because I don't need it to be a big ship because this is primarily just to show you how to build it with the shape. So if you want to extend it, and go higher, you absolutely can take it to the next level and you'll know what you're doing because obviously I'm showing you how to do it. I don't need too much for this base. If I was going to build it to hold a load of dinosaurs though, and like make it into a mega base, I'd probably build it like an extra two to three walls higher, have it like insanely huge. And I might do that for another video, build like a humongous battleship. Astronomically gargantuan. I may have to do that, I think. What do you guys think? Do you think I should do it? Let me know in the comments. Right, and then at the back here, just as we did with the front, a couple of triangle ceilings and then square ceilings. And there we go. Oh, where am I bouncing off to? Oh, I placed the wall there as well. And there we go, look. That is a nice looking shape. Looking good so far. Now we need to build some extra things. So if we go into where our steering wheel is, what we'll do here is decide how we're going to get up. So where the doors are, they're there. We're going to have the stairs right here. So we'll get rid of this one. Lovely jubbly. Obviously you can decide which one you want to get rid of. And then just add some stairs. There we go. Lovely. Right, that brings us up into here. So, now we need to build the upper level because we're going to have like a almost like a command deck built right here, okay? We're going to use like some windows and all sorts. Right, so now that we've got the stairs leading up, we're going to want to get to the front of the ship and obviously navigate the ship. So we're going to build a doorway right in the middle there. It's going to be three blocks from the stairs. Now above that, we're going to place a metal ceiling foundation. Place two, just so we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to add a greenhouse roof. We're going to do three of them, like so. Now, you can do cornered, you know, the angled, uh, you know, triangle cornered windows here. But to be honest, it's such a faff getting it into a nice little oval shape and... Yeah, it's just more aggro than it needs to be. And also, we're going to want to walk along the sides of the ship as well. So, for the sake of clarity and making things easier, we're going to use a sloped wall either side. And this will just keep the ship in a nice shape. Now, we want to add two metal roofs either side of the window. We're going to grab our metal sloped wall either side of this. And here, lastly, here. Oh, if it'll flip out. And then all you need to do is decide how big you want this. So I'm going to go along probably three blocks past the stairs again. So if we just go along like so, build this outwards. And then by the stairs again, going to add another doorway so we can get in and out. We'll go three along from the door. Just like so. We'll do the same this side. Go along. Like so. Obviously not adding a door here because the stairs are there. I'm going to be falling down. But we can add one here. That'll do. Just so we got multiple ways in and out. Right, now we're at the end. Now, grab your metal slope wall. Like so. Put 
them either side and then add roofs. This will just give it a little bit more shape. There we go. Excellent. Now above here, this is where you can decide whether you want to A, oh, not place a roof like that. You can add a roof like that. Um, let me just get rid of this. So you can add a roof like that and go up even higher and then flatten it off completely. Or, or you can just completely flatten it from the get go like that. So it's, it's your call what you want to do. It's completely your call. So me personally, I'm just going to flatten it. I don't want anything too big. I don't want anything too fancy. I'll save that for my ginormous ship build that I'm going to be working on. Just go along. So. Then we'll get our roofs because these are going to have to go up one more. And they will all meet up. Lovely jubbly. And just finish up with your metal slate roofs. And then your normal walls. This is where you can add windows if you want. I personally wouldn't. You're not going to need them to be fair. So. There we go. Look at that. Looking cool, looking cool. Now, obviously, we're going to need to get up to the bridge. So what we'll do here, we've got these stairs. We'll add our ceiling foundations inside and then we'll add some stairs to it just like so right by the door there and then all we need to do is add more ceilings Lovely jubbly. Let's have a look at the shape now. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I like that. I do like that. So now what you're going to want to do is add metal railings all the way around the ship. And there we go. So that's the railings added. Looking good so far. Looking good, looking good. So when it comes to placing turrets on this boat, as some of you may already know, tech turrets are not allowed and heavy turrets are not allowed. They can't be built on saddles or platforms anymore. So all we got access to is auto turrets. So we'll place one right here. And you've got access to obviously your minigun turrets and your rocket turrets. So I would build a ladder here have some rocket turrets up top so if we place a rocket turret like so disable the uh the snapping so that we can actually put it somewhere decent like so that doesn't hang off the edges so to speak place another one right there we've got one looking either way i'll probably even just put another auto turret up here as well just place as many as you want where you want. Now if you are going to have turrets up here and you're going to want to weigh up and down obviously use a ladder this is when I'd say you're going to need railings because you don't want to be falling on and off this platform because you could end up in the water in the heat of battle <laughs> which you uh, definitely don't want. So I'll just place railings there like so. We go down now. Obviously it doesn't prevent you from falling off into the water. You've got, still got to be careful but if we go on this move it around jump off yeah we should be okay and then obviously just make sure you're not sprinting off the roof otherwise you are uh, gonna go straight into the drink so i'm not gonna lie the camera angle is pretty bad when driving this thing i mean look at it but it is a big ship so what do you expect so you may have to use the free look to uh, navigate the sea so to speak but yeah i'm happy with that obviously i changed the turrets i added some water tanks up the top and change the turrets at the front and change the design of the uh, of the deck. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it's a good build. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and share. Also join my Discord. Let me know in the comments what you think about this build. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.